Welcome to the CA Unified Infrastructure Management queue creation video. In this video, I will show you how to create a queue between two hubs using Admin Console. If you have a secondary hub in your domain, you will need to create queues to forward messages received by the secondary hub to the primary hub. Queues ensure that messages are stored and delivered to a consumer, even if the consumer is temporarily offline at the time the message is generated. For example, if the hub is running the alarm server, NAS goes offline, then comes back up. The NAS hub fetches all the alarms that were generated during the downtime. This ensures that no alarms are lost. In this video, I will create an attach queue on the secondary hub and a get queue on the primary hub. The attach queue publishes messages that are received by the get queue on the primary hub. A get attach queue consists of an attach endpoint and a get endpoint. A get attach queue consists of an attach endpoint and a get endpoint. An attach endpoint is the producer or publisher of messages and alarms that you want to send to another hub. It is customarily called an attach queue. The get endpoint is the consumer or subscriber to the messages and alarms arriving from an attach queue. The get endpoint is customarily called a get queue. You can also create post queues. Post queues are not covered in this video. Log in to Admin Console as the administrator. The Admin Console main page opens. To create the attach queue, I'll expand the secondary hub and select the secondary hub robot. I'll locate the hub probe and click the down arrow next to it to expand the probe menu. I select Configure to open the hub probe configuration. I select Queue List to open the Queue List configuration page. Queues can be created to contain messages and alarms for all subjects, a particular subject, or a collection of subjects. I can see the list of subjects that are already defined by clicking the down arrow in the subject field. If I need a subject that is not in the list, I can add it in the subject to add field. Here I have entered a new subject, a big subject. To add it to the subject drop down list, I click Actions, Add Subject to List, then click Reload when I receive a success message. The new subject is added to the subject drop down list. I click New to create a new queue, and a new entry is added at the end of the queue list. I'll name the new queue My Producer Attached Queue. I ensure that the active checkbox is enabled, and select the queue type Attach from the drop down list. On the Attach side, the hub address field is grayed out. I will specify the hub address later when I create the get queue on the primary hub. In the subject field, I can select any of the subjects that are defined in the drop down list, or I can select the asterisk, which means that this queue will contain all subjects. For an attached queue, the rest of the fields are grayed out. I can set values for them when I create the get queue later. I click Save to create the new attached queue and click OK when I get a success message. My new attached queue is now inserted into the queue list in alphabetical order. I'll close the Hub Configuration tab and return to the main page of Admin Console. I've just created the attached queue on my secondary hub. Now I'll create a get queue on the primary hub. I expand the primary hub and select the primary hub robot. I locate the hub probe in the probe list and click the down arrow next to it. I select Configure from the drop down list, and the Primary Hub Probe Configuration page opens. I select Queue List to open the Queue List Configuration page, and click New. A new queue entry is added to the end of the list. I name it My Customer Get Queue, and verify that the active checkbox is enabled. In the Type drop-down list, I select Get. In the Hub Address drop-down list, I select the secondary hub where I just created the attached queue. Notice that the subject field is grayed out for a Get queue. This is because the subject is always specified by the attached queue. 
a Get Q can receive any subject. In the remote Q name, I enter the name of the attached Q. My producer attached Q. The bulk size field specifies how many messages are bundled together and sent at one time on the Q. The default bulk size is 100. I can select a different bulk size if needed. For this example, I will just take the default. My new Get Q is now configured. I click Save and OK to refresh the configuration. The new Get Q is inserted into the Q list in alphabetical order. It is active and it is ready to receive messages from the attached Q. For more detailed information about CA Unified Infrastructure Management, refer to the CA Doc Ops platform or visit the CA UAM community to join in the discussion. The links can be found in the YouTube description located below this video.